Yosemite National Park lies west of the crest line of the Sierra Nevada Mountains in Middle Eastern California. The Yosemite Valley is a magnificent gorge about seven miles long and averaging a mile in width. The Merced River toiled for about 60 million years to cut a canyon 2,000 feet deep. Then mighty glaciers ground and gouged for another million years to add more than a thousand feet to its depth, cutting back the sloping sides to create towering cliffs and hanging waterfalls. Highway 41 enters through the southern gate, a short distance from the Mariposa Grove of big trees, the oldest of all living things. Here, 600 forest giants more ancient than the pyramids of Egypt, tower into the heavens. Many of these trees were living before the birth of Christ. The grizzly giant has an estimated age of 3,800 years. It is 209 feet tall and 27 and a half feet in diameter at its base, with the first large limb 95 feet above the ground. This huge tree contains over 300,000 board feet of lumber enough to build 30 six-room houses. The Wawona, or tunnel tree, has been famous for many years. The Half Dome stands on the North Rim, near where the Joseph Walker Party halted during October of 1833. From the Rim, they look down more than 3,200 feet at the Merced River below the first known white men to see Yosemite Valley. During the first visit by Americans to the valley floor in March 1851, while they were camped near Bridal Veil vale Fall, the name Yosemite was suggested as a word that would perpetuate the name of the local Indians. In 1864, Congress placed Yosemite Valley and the Mariposa Grove under California administration and in 1890, it created a national park from the remaining sections of this wonderland. In 1906, the federal and state parks were merged into Yosemite National Park. In the early spring, when the snows are melting, the turbulent river leaps and roars downward in a series of mad cascades. Wild creatures are abundant in this fairyland of mountain dells, singing waters, and pine-scented forests. North from Glacier Point and east of the Half Dome, the Merced River descends the giant stairway, dropping 2,000 feet in one and a half miles. The first step is Nevada Fall, and the lower step, Vernal Fall, with many cascades between. Nevada is one of the principal waterfalls in Yosemite with a sheer drop of 594 feet. Rushing, twisting, and wildly leaping through a narrow channel below the Nevada Fall, the Merced River roars onward to the granite lip of Vernal Fall, where the surging river makes a wild leap into the canyon far below. Vernal Fall pours a white curtain of turbulent water over the brink of a broad vertical cliff, dropping the stream 317 feet to a boulder-strewn channel, where clouds of spray bathe the canyon walls, keeping them constantly moist and green. The grandeur of Yosemite Falls brought worldwide fame to the valley and has attracted nature lovers ever since its discovery. The upper fall plunges downward 1,430 feet in one sheer leap. The foaming water then descends by 675 feet of roaring cascades to the brink of the lower fall, from which it drops another 320 feet, making the total fall of Yosemite 2,425 feet, or nearly half a mile. Later in the spring, when the warm sun has melted the last trace of snow from the valley floor, the meadows turn green 
and acres of azaleas burst into gorgeous bloom. In sheltered canyons on the slopes of the surrounding mountains, the Pacific dogwood presents vistas of white beauty against the dark greens of the forest. The dogwood blossom is made up of a button-like cluster of greenish-white flowers encircled by four to six cream-white scales or bracts. In the higher country, the dazzling red snow plant springs from the leafy mold of the forest floor. This rare plant lives on the decaying vegetable matter so abundant beneath the carpet of pine needles. Throughout the quiet days of summer, Mirror Lake reflects on its glassy surface the beauties that surround it, the calm of eternal peace. The Merced River, tireless through the centuries, still tumbles and sings down the channel it has carved on its never-ending rush to the sea. El Capitan is a dominant feature of the precipitous cliffs that form the western wall. This tremendous monolith of granite rises more than 3,600 feet above the Merced River, which flows along the valley floor. In this wildlife sanctuary live about 60 species of mammals. The golden-mantled ground squirrel is a great favorite, always friendly and full of amusing antics. The bears are very popular with park visitors and often are seen near the highways. This fat and sassy young brown bear is fully prepared to face the coming of winter. The first chill breath of autumn will soon sweep over the valley. And this wise old black bear already is searching for a warm cave in which to hibernate during the winter. As summer silently glides away, the valley changes its coloring to browns, reds, and burnished gold. The frosty winds of autumn rustle the aspen leaves and sing loudly among the swaying pines. The California mule deer gather in the meadows where food is still abundant. Occasionally, a buck will toss his head and sniff with vague uneasiness at the icy winds that herald the coming of winter, a season of cold and scant food supply. Cloud-flecked blue skies and cooling breezes prevail for many weeks. And then autumn, like the millions of autumns before, slowly fades away into the void of endless time, and the icy fingers of winter place a white mantle over the green and golden scenes of yesterday. The cold breath of winter freezes the spray from the falls and forms giant pillars of ice on the granite cliffs. It decorates the pines with glistening frost. During the night, a gentle fall of snow turns into a heavy storm, and morning brings with it an overcast sky and a whistling, boisterous wind. Yosemite is transformed into a sparkling wonderland, a vast outdoor display in crystal and white by Father Winter. Then patches of blue sky appear and herald the return of the sun. Like a huge lamp, it projects patterns of light and shade on the fresh snow. After the sun has dispelled the storm clouds, the snow-encrusted trees stand in sharp relief against the clear heavens, where a vagrant breeze playing among the high cliffs tosses snow dust from the frosted pines into the brilliant blue of a winter sky. 
That age-old rock, the Half Dome, born in the morning of time, symbolizes the dignity and grandeur of Yosemite and the enduring creations of the Master Builder. Thank you.